Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Arabic Khatawat. In this video, we're going to read a short story. Qisas Arabiya Qasira. Qisas Arabiya Qasira. Qisas. Qisas would be the word for stories. And then Qissa Wahida. Qissa. One story. Arabiya Qasira. Arab or Arabic, and then Qasira, short. So today's short story will be about Juha. Juha. Juha is a very popular uh, storyteller in the Middle East, and he's known for his humorous and um, mostly tricky anecdotes, where he tells about his life, about his encounters with his neighbors, and a lot more of uh, witty, um, fun interaction. So Juha in English would be Hoja, Hoja. Before I begin reading the story, I wanted to introduce the vocabulary that the story has. Um, we will also have two versions. We'll have the English version and the Arabic version. We'll read both of them. The list of words we have here are verbs and nouns. We'll begin with bahatha, bahatha, bahatha an, he looked for. And here we are looking at the verb in the past, third person in the past. So he did something. Bahatha an, bahatha an, looked for. Tashajja, encouraged, or he got courage to do something. تَشَجَّعَ قَالَ He said تَأَسَّفَ He regretted or he apologized وَجَدَ وَجَدَ He found إِسْتَحَ إِسْتَحَ He was ashamed شَعْرَ بِ شَعْرَ بِ He felt and we use بِ because it's a preposition be what? Shaura be al farah, and we learned this before. Saraqa, Saraqa, he stole. Saraqa, Qama, Qama, he rose and got up. Ikhtaba'a, Ikhtaba'a, he hid. Fataha, Fataha, he opened. Arifa, Arifa. Arifa, he knew, and you could also use Alima, and then Alima would be with B. He knew about something. So when you say about, you're referring to B. Arifa, or Alima B. Lis, lis, thief. Lis or lisun. The case ended. Dar. Dar, house, khizana, khizana, closet, sheikh, sheikh, old man or scholar, ghurfa, ghurfa, room, layl, layl, night. So let's read the story in English first. That way we can get the gist of, um, the short story or the punchline of the anecdote. Juha and the Thief Juha sensed that there was a thief in his house one night, so he went to his bedroom closet and hid in it. The thief was looking for something to steal, but couldn't find anything. When he saw the closet, he opened it, and there was Juha inside. The thief was frightened, but he took courage and said, What are you doing here, old man? To that, Juha replied, I'm sorry, sir, but I knew that you wouldn't find anything worth stealing, and for that I was ashamed and hid out of embarrassment. This short story was taken from Arabic Stories for Language Learner by Hezi Brosh and Lutfi Mansur. So you can find the book uh, in, in Amazon or other uh, sources. 
Now let's read in Arabic and I'm going to read at a normal pace. Then we'll have a second or third reading with short cases. Please listen in the first time and try to recognize the vocabulary that we first introduced in the video. The story begins. Juha wallis. شعر جحا بلص في داره ليلا فقام إلى خزانة غرفة النوم واختبأ فيها وبحث اللص عن شيء يسرقه فلم يجد فرأى الخزانة ففتحها وإذا بجحا فيها فخاف اللص ولكنه تشجع وقال ماذا تفعل هنا يا شيخ؟ فقال جحا متأسف يا سيدي فإني أعرف أنك لن تجد ما تسرقه ولهذا استحيت واختبأت خجلا منك This was obviously a funny story um, both in English and Arabic and I hope you got the punchline If you did, tell me what it, was, what it was in the comment section Let's read the second time and I'm going to place the short cases while I read Slowly. Juha wa alissu. Shaura Juha bilissin fi darihi. Leilan. Fakama ila khizanati gurfati. النوم واختبأ فيها وبحث اللص عن شيء يسرقه فلم يجد فرأى الخزانة ففتحها وإذا بجحا فيها فخاف اللص ولكنه تشجع وقال ماذا تفعل هنا يا شيخ فقال جحا متأسف يا سيدي فإني أعرف أنك لن تجد ما تسرقه ولهذا استحيت واختبأت خجلا منك Let's read it one more time. Juha wallissu. Shaura juha bilissin fi darihi laylan. Faqama ila khizanati ghurfati nawm. Waqtaba'a fiha. Wabahatha allissu an shay'in yasriquhu. Falam yajid. Faraa. الخزانة ففتحها وإذا بجحا فيها فخاف اللص ولكنه تشجع وقال ماذا تفعل هنا يا شيخ؟ فقال جحا متأسف يا سيدي فإني أعرف أنك لن تجد ما تسرقه ولهذا so that was the second reading of the Arabic version. Now I'm going to leave you with a practice part. This is a suggested practice. And what you could do is read the second time without short cases or third time without short cases. Then you can go back um, and pause the video with short cases, then read again. If you'd like to have a live session where we can learn about how to read short stories in Arabic 
and what are the case endings that are mostly emphasized when you read that way you convey meaning there are many strategies and techniques that you could you could apply in reading texts whether in english or in arabic but you could borrow from both languages how you can read texts in general um, so let me know in the comment section if you'd like to have a live session and we'll schedule one on sunday or friday as our days for scheduled live sessions so uh, let's look at the second part of how you can memorize the vocabulary so the way you could memorize new vocabulary even if the text is long and you're basically not aware of all the words what we suggest for most students is to just select uh, a set of vocabulary that you find quite interesting so in this list what i did is i took six nouns from the text and then i took another list uh, about 12 uh, or 13 verbs from that short story it was very short but it did have a lot of verbs and it was really rich with action uh, so let's look at these words first. What you do is you write them down on your notebook. You look at the word, you articulate it, then you write the translation. I will not provide the English translation as I would love for you to uh, try to remember uh, from the reading that we had. And you can pause and go back. So um, the words are lis, dar, khizana, Ghurfa, Sheikh, and Lay. Another way for you to use this technique of writing down new vocabulary without short cases. The first technique is without short cases. The second technique is you try to look at the text again with short cases, then try to place them on your own without help. That way you can see if you are able to articulate the sounds. The other way I would suggest you use this type of, of practice is look at the verbs again one more time, try to translate them, then uh, also conjugate the verbs from singular to dual to plural. If you are in the intermediate and advanced level, you'll be more familiar with the dual and the plural conjugation. If you are in the beginning level, just focus on the on uh, the singular conjugation if you have any questions about today's video just uh, make sure you place it in the comment section and we'll have a community um, discussion on our youtube channel that way you can engage with other learners if you have techniques on how to read texts on how to memorize vocabulary from short stories please let us know so thank you so much for joining me today and uh, let me know again when would you like to have the live session i'll see you soon